fights. And we're set for what's next. We've got Cody Stone coming to us from Goju Ryuki. He's a Cage Wars veteran. He's also done some kickboxing. He's going to be competing against Bryce Ward. We've seen both these guys in this cage. You know, we've seen some improvement from Cody Stone. He's been practicing, you know, focusing on his striking as well as his MMA. So I really expect to see the best version of him tonight. Yeah, I've been around Bryce Ward in the gym. He hits so hard. Kicks, kicks hard? Is that what he Hits said? hard. Hits hard. Fists of steel. Well, you know, and I was talking to Brian before the show. For the folks at home who don't know, this is how game Bryce Ward is. For the last Cage Wars in Schenectady, he took a, he changed his fight the week before the fight and fought up a weight class yep. against a guy who has had two fights. Yep. And he made and it he a great good. fight. He, he looked made good. a great fight. The crowd was upset with the decision. That's how, that's how you want to come out. You know, so I look forward to seeing him in his weight division, yeah. the, the opponent that they planned for through the camp, and see what he executes. Absolutely. Is this our second time up for Stone with us? It is. Big Dan Mergley out of the third man in the cage. Oh, yeah. Big Dan. And the entourage is deep from Jacal. Sure is. Look at that. <laughs> Price looks ripped. I'm really a good looking kid. Well, you know, he seems like a popular guy. He's a good teammate to the team. Yep. You know, he's somebody who's, who's just very positive and popular in their gym. Definitely an asset. Nah, I mean, he's, I mean, he's, looks like he's, man, the man of steel. The guy is ripped. Do we know him to be a wrestler? He is. I yeah. believe he's got a USA Wrestling tattoo, if I remember yeah, correctly. That, that's why, the, that's why the, the boxing and the commitment in his hands was surprising me the first few times that I met him. Well, and that's the thing. If, if you're well-versed on the ground, you know you don't really have to worry about it as much as you can throw the strikes more reckless that's abandonment. True. That's true. What do you see happening here, Will? What kind of a fight is this? I mean, I see Co I see uh, Bryce really pushing it, pushing him against the cage, wearing him down, using dirty boxing, and just trying to dominate him and, and wear him down. You, Nash? Yeah, if it's anything like his, his recent debut is going to be a lot, of, a lot of forward pressure, excellent wrestling. Uh, I think we're looking at I think we're looking at a striker grappler matchup for sure here. Stone recently fought I'm a teammate Connor Ledick. Very fisty match. You know, and Team Juco has really evolved as well. You see, they've got their Muay Thai coach behind them as well as their boxing coach. So that's really complemented the grappling over there. Absolutely. Looking nice and relaxed, ready to get into the cage. I find a lot of the Jacao guys are very comfortable bottom side control. That could be a very useful position in an element like this. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo for the official introductions. The action continues on the card for Cage War 64 with our upcoming contest. Three three-minute rounds in our welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in last night at 170.4 pounds. Representing Goju Ryuki out of Gloversville, New York, Cody Achilles Stone. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in last night 170.2 pounds. Representing Team Zhukao out of Scotia, New York, Bryce Ward. The man in charge of the action when that door closes is Dan Mergliata. Stone versus Ward. Ooh, immediate double leg. Very nice early on by Ward. Right in the side control. And that's a tough thing with wrestlers. They change that level so fast. And when a wrestler's on top of you, life just sucks. Yeah, you also don't want to be on the bottom with your back against the cage like that. It's hard to get your hips involved. Amateur rules, no ground and pound to the head. It lets him back Ooh. up so we could punch him in the face. Gotta respect that. 
Yeah, wasted no time. Sometimes there's a half a second of grace for each fighter to get their bearings. Not there. Double change again. Bryce Ward looking for the straight hands. Yeah. Cody Stone not not uh, not phased though, bringing him right back. Absolutely, I agree. Will fires back, puts him in the middle. I don't know anything about Stone's conditioning, but nice right hand. And again, Ward being the shorter guy, he's got to close that distance. I, I could be wrong on this. Does, does Ward look a little gassed to you guys early on here? I thought that he may have been breathing a little heavy. It almost seemed like he just kind of came to a stop. Good and as soon as I say that. Well, I mean, that's the thing, too. There's the nerves before the fight. Everything going on, your sympathetic nervous system is firing. It's a mess. And especially when you do have that much support, sometimes that can add more stress. You know, and that's something that people would never know. Like, but your your body chemistry, when you get into the cage, could present you something that you're just not used to. Oh, it feels like you can never get warm enough when you're in the back. You can never get warm enough. You sit there, you do your kicks, you do your grappling, you get out there, you still like, ah, oh, I'm not quite as loose as I'm in class. Good transition by Wart. Right in the mount. Now, how long? Once you, once the once the bell rings, though, is you, that's when you, you're going to get hot at that point. Bryce looking for that neck. Cody fighting the hands. Yeah, Cody's got to get. Can this. he get it under the chin? Cody's got to try to get up if he can here. Cody turns into him. Nice job here. Yeah. yeah. Less than a minute. And Cody it's wanted not to, under the chin. He wants to fight the hands, keep his chest to the sky, walk over that bottom and leg. He's done it. Good job. I think it's a good round so far for, yeah. for both these fighters, but yeah. I like what Stone's doing here. Stone did a good job keeping his head above yes. Bryce. So the choke was not a threat. And Pushing he, that pressure. And once he got it off the mat, he really seemed to turn the, the complexion of this fight around. 15 seconds. Hey, it looks game. Eyes dead, locked on Ward. Last few seconds of round number one. I think we're in for a very interesting fight here, guys. This is going to be interesting. That's a hell of a round of judge, I'll tell you that. And both men breathing heavy, though. Bryce Ward, a real muscular guy, though, too. And the more muscle you carry, the more oxygen it needs. He's also bearing the weight of that fantastic haircut. By the way, unfazed by three minutes of combat, by the way. That thing looks amazing. Will, you and I sh are not quite as blessed. No. With his cabbage. <laughs> Cody Stone looking away, looking to his corner. That's kind of a unique thing, kind of staying focused with his team. I kind of like that. I kind of like what Cody Stone is all about. He came in here, he, he faced an opponent, looked bigger, perhaps maybe stronger, crowd behind him, but he he withstood, and I feel like he, he got Ward's best shot in round yeah. one. I like that neither corner actually looks too, too stressful in the round two. Cody's still breathing a little bit heavy. Excuse me, Ward. Side kicking Cody. Oh, nice kick by Roundhouse Ward. to the body, level change again to the single. Cody does a nice job fighting oh. the hands wherever they are if he feels the next is threatened. And that's got to feel good for him to, to thwart the advance there by his opponent. Damn. Bryce so quick on the level Ward. changes. Ward having a hard time with the takedowns here now. Well, again, he's got that another hook. Bryce brings him down. There it goes. Oh, that's a good one. Bryce gets the knee in, trying to establish guard. Yes. I mean, not Bryce. I'm sorry, Cody. Yep. Doesn't like, want to wait there. It feels yep. like a replay of round number one. Yeah. Now, if I'm Cody Stone, I'm going to know he's going to try to change levels. I'm going to try to add some uppercuts in there. Yeah, you also don't want to stand right in the middle the way that Stone is. You want to use your angles so you don't give Ward an easy target to shoot in on. Step off uppercut Absolutely. to a nice underhook. And normally you would fault a fighter for that, having that left hand down, but sometimes that's beneficial to come up with that upperhook. Both knees, if they come together, that's a bad look for Stone. Well, and as we've seen, Ward has the power to lift him up and slam. Oh, yeah. Stone doing the right thing, trying to get a wide base. He's also making Ward wear his weight. Yeah. 
the fight now. Ward catches him on the, the attempt to get to the outside. We're just past the midway point of the fight. Minute and 20 left to go, round number two. Cody Stone in the red, or Cody Stone in the blue, Bryce Ward in the red. Nice side control for Bryce. See if he goes knee on belly. Looks like he's working for it. Yeah, Stone doing a good job of trying to keep that knee up, but he wants to make distance and recover his guard if he can. Crossing over in a mount, less than a minute. If he ends this round and mount, that's a good look for him for those judges. Yeah, we need some urgency from, from Stone for sure. Half guard. Ooh, nice little meat tenderizer. Yeah, Ward going hard to the body. Again, amateur rules apply. No ground and pound to the face. Yeah. He's going to try to clear that right knee. At this point, Stone's just holding on. Not really trying to get to a hit, create separation. Trying to lock that half guard down. Bryce Ward in total control. Looked like he was coming awfully close with some of those elbows there, didn't it? Bryce saying, oh, I got a poke in the eye. You know, <laughs> as a ref, you can't stop it if you don't call it. Or you can't call it if you don't see it, rather. Dominant round for Ward, for sure. Yep. First round could be a pick -em. This is definitely a Ward round. I if, think, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. If you're Cody Stone's a, a corner, what are you telling him? I mean, we definitely don't want any more takedowns going into this next round. I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing fatigue set in for Stone for sure. Um, Stone's game is going to be range striking at this point. Yeah, and, and I've noticed too, like when, when Cody Stone goes on the offensive, he, get, he gets Ward to back off. Yeah. He's landing some shots. Yeah. He's just, that's when... That, that's when we see Ward go for the go for the shoot, Absolutely. you know, go for the shot. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you got to anticipate that. Right. Maybe come at him with an uppercut. Just keep throwing punches, like you said, the firestorm. Because yeah. when he when, when he's landing, I mean, Ward Ward is backing off. Well, I, th I think it's also been exposed too that Cody may not have the takedown defense to stop Ward. But he keeps himself out of danger. Right. Right. Here we go, third and final round. Ward in the red, Stone in the blue. This is a good fight. Yeah, I want to see Cody stick on that jab and circle to keep Ward from closing the distance on those level changes. I think this. I think Stone is down, but he's very game right now. Stone wants to fight for sure. Bryce doing a nice job getting to that leg. He wants to be in this mount position. Yeah. Bryce is in his flow right now. Oh, is it under the neck? Let's. Oh, good job by Stone, fighting those hands, pushing up. He wants to bring himself higher on Bryce, so it's harder for Bryce to create that pressure. Mm -hmm. The higher his hips, the better off he's going to be. The crowd excited about a potential finish, but nothing happening just yet. You know, and although sometimes folks can get a finish from a neck crank, it doesn't oh, yeah. always have to be under the chin. Yeah. Nice little forearm bone to their faces. It doesn't feel great. Oh, there we go. What can he do with it? Good job fighting the hands by Stone. Wow. Yeah. Excellent work. And if you're stoned right now, eventually you're probably going to put yourself in harm's way yeah. as you try to wiggle out. Like you can see the stress building, arms starting to flail out to the sides. That'll create openings for Bryce to transition for sure. But there is an opportunity, though, and I do. There I goes the neck again. I feel Stone like just aware enough, though, to keep himself out of that finishing yeah. position. And I think he's just squirmy enough to break out of this, but yeah. there's not much time left. About a minute and 35 left to go in our final round. Oh. Oh, can he get it here? Can he get it? Cody, off the face Cody did a good job turning yeah. into the choke. A great job of control here by Ward. Good oh, job see, there by he, Cody. All right, turn him over. See, that was the opportunity. I don't know if there's enough time. Now you have to stand up and try to go for a Hail Mary. Right, you would almost wa you would almost think that he's better off backing off, right? Oh, absolutely. And, and, yeah, Le and standing, leaving standing the guard, this one up. Leaving the guard, absolutely. I don't know if his corner's telling him to do that, but he... Because he's not doing much. He's got his arm wrapped yeah. around Bryce. He's just creating some down pressure. There's right. no real damage happening. Yeah, yeah he's not, he, needs, he, needs to finish, he needs to finish Ward here. Trying to get his hips high, looking for a triangle armbar option. Those shin guards make it so hard to be slick with the jiu-jitsu. Wow. 
All right, we're gonna get a stand up here. Crowd loves it. Here we go. Still you, enough, still enough time here up. if you're Stone. Got to work though. Stone's got to throw some hands. Nice right Instead hand by Ward. Oh, Ward making read. Nice two, three, level change and single again. Looking for that trip against the cage. 20 Stone's seconds got left the to go. underhook. Just gonna pull his hips out from that cage. Yep, completes it. Walks around the leg. 10 seconds. Looks like we're gonna go to the judges, gentlemen. A good round by Cody Stone, too. Yeah. He may have won the third round. Good fight. Excellent fight. Yeah, and it really was sort of a matchup of styles. Absolutely. Both men with a lot of determination and will. It was a good fight. And, you know, coming from a more striking school, he did a good job, again, defending the submissions. Even I though agree. his ground game isn't as tight as Bryce Wartz, he I did agree. a great job staying out of danger. Yeah. Probably two rounds to one for Ward, but we'll see what the judges think. Yeah. But Ward knew he was in there against somebody who wasn't going to back down. It's yeah. a good fight for Ward, too. These are all, and these are all great learning experiences. Right? You, Absolutely. You get a tremendous amount of experience. That's the kind of fight that can kind of elevate you because there was a little bit of everything in there. It really allows for a lot of growth for each one of these well, for each one of these athletes. Yeah, sometimes going the distance is nice because you get to see what situations you kind of keep engaging in. Like, how do I keep winding up in the same spot? It opens up a lot for you to refine your game for the next time out. Patterns you may have. 100%. What would you rather have, a 30-second first-round knock? Uh, I'll ask this after we We're get We're going to bring it up to Mike Pavel <laughs> for the official decision. And as always, fight fans, how about a nice round of applause for both amazing fighters in one hell of a fight. After three hard-fought rounds of mixed martial arts, we go to the official scorecard. All three judges have scored the fight 30-27 in favor of your winner by way of unanimous decision, Bryce Ford!